Today is Cyber Monday, called so as, as it marks the official start of the holiday shopping season. Cyber Monday is traditionally focused on online deals, and as more people make the switch from in-store shopping to the internet, online sales during the shopping day are set to break records. Well, let's find out a little bit more. Joining us now is Guillaume Pouzard, founder and CEO of the digital payment provider Checkout.com, speaking to us there from Dubai. Appreciate your time. I explain to us, what have you seen in the impact of how our spending, our consumer habits have changed as we've had these rolling lockdowns throughout Europe? Good morning, Rosie. So first, I mean, for Cyber Monday and Black Friday, the, the most obvious change is that last year, everything was in, you know, break. So like it was like, you know, eight in the morning, the commute, people going to the office at lunch as well. And then during the end of the day from 6 p.m. up to the night, people would try to get the last deals. Uh, this year we're seeing like, you know, from like early mornings during the day, it's a steady amount of transactions. So instead of working in peaks, uh, customers are just basically uh, buying throughout the day. The other obvious change is that we're seeing a lot of people uh, in all the demographics that would, you know, use the internet a lot less normally, I'd say 60 and above, uh, shopping online because I think they have no other option right now. And these, uh, you know, marketing is so big around Cyber Monday and Black Friday that I think it's really touching everyone in every single demographics at this point. And where are we shopping and what are we buying? I mean, it, you know, it's like this is Christmas season or pre-Christmas season. So people, first of all, I mean, are going to buy, you know, presents for their family because they think they're getting a good deal. It really is. And now it's really marketing. And I was like, get big discounts. Merchants use it also as a way to pump the numbers for the end of the year. Uh, I think we, we see a lot of luxury shopping. I mean, we power Klarna, Farfetch, so it's a lot, a lot of retail uh, on the back. But I think it's really every single category. It's really up to the, the merchant to do good marketing and leverage an opportunity to just do more sales uh, around a single day. To just give an idea, for us, it's 250% growth over last year and 700% growth for the year before. So clearly, I think, you know, the, the U.S. Uh, has, um, how do you say this, uh, the U.S. strategy has impacted on European merchants as well. To what extent do you think we are going to see a significant shift in consumers' behaviour going forward? As a result of the pandemic, lots of people are saying, you know, this has really accelerated the shift from shopping in stores to just clicking online. Do you think that's been sort of solidified now? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the data proves it. I mean, the, the, it was the million dollar question, I think, to every investor in fintech, which was like, hey, well, after Q2, things go back to normal. And actually, things didn't go back to normal. We have a new normal at this point where we have gained three to five years in terms of numbers uh, on how people uh, buy online. I mean, this is a thesis that we at Checkout have always believed in, which is things are only going to one direction, which is, you know, the online market share is going to increase. But I think clearly, I mean, these uh, these benchmarks that now we see, I mean, the, the the ratio of online is much higher, at least in our numbers, and we're, we're very excited about it. To what extent does this pose a real challenge? If you're a small, local, independent business that don't really have a, a fully functioning website, what options are there for you to say, well, uh, you know, people aren't literally able to walk into my store right now. I've got to get online. How difficult is that process? I think it's not that difficult. It's, you know, everyone has to think about their digital strategy. Clearly, uh, you know, you could go on platforms like Amazon that are going to give you an, an immediate access to selling online and you can get access to obviously all their users and shoppers. But I think we need to look into uh, things into perspective. Shopify has made it like really easy to go online and open a store. I think also the other point to consider, and I think this is really important, is that offline, so it, it, the offline experience, walking into a store is not going to change. You know, it's going to change, but it's not going to disappear. I'm sorry. And what I mean by not disappear is that stores are going to stay there, but it's more about touching, experiencing, and you're going to have models like, you know, uh, delivery at home or you pay online for something that you touch, you know, offline. And I think there, there will be a conversion between offline and online. Uh, I'm an optimistic. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Guillaume Pouza, founder and CEO of the digital payment provider Checkout.com.